Okay, team. We're all set up for the Aces semifinals. Once Sly arrives at the team hangar, we'll prep the plane and suit up for competition. Oh, so are we just switch to Sly now? All right. Fair enough. Come on. Now, how the heck is he supposed to get up there? Oh. All right, Sly. Let's do your thing. Ah, uh -huh, we made it. Suit up, partner. Almost time for the semifinals. Stay sharp, Sly. Iceland and Belgium will be at each other's throats up there, but you're still outnumbered. Relax, Mom. This is gonna be great. Whoa. The team Belgium is now on the way. The fans are out. Dog fight action reaction. <laughs> okay, now, the winner here is the last man standing. Lead your opponents and watch your six. I know how you hate being burned alive at 500 feet. I uh, wasn't paying attention. I had the controller down. <laughs> I put it on the desk and I... Uh, Started scrambling around for it. It's 25 planes, dude. Oh my god, there are so many planes. Does this give me ammo or something? What does this do? Oh shit. Well, I wouldn't know until I get it then. That does give me ammo, okay. Good news. Aces tickets for next year already on sale. Shiznets. Stuff is happening. Superb Ten time. more to go. You made it to the final ten. Keep it up. You're out of bullets. Fly down underneath one of the bridges and pick up some more rounds. Don't worry, Bentley. I got this, homie. Eighteen. Oh, shiznets. Oh, my aim isn't so good right now. Five more to go. The black ones are the worst because they can shoot from the back. There we go. The black planes are annoying. Come on, dude. Almost there. Only three more left. You mean two more? It's motto a motto. It's a 1v1, eh? Got him. Black Baron. The rules in the finals are a bit different than normal. 
Whoever takes out the defending champ gets the title. Hear that, boys? It's all about taking down the Baron. Our only real competition will be Bugshot himself. We need to remove him from the competition. Here's the plan. I'll challenge him to a fist fight out in the town square. Sly, you find and lure Inspector Fox to the same place. When the two meet, the sparks are sure to fly. With some luck, the big guy will get carted off to jail, and we'll have clear skies for the finals. However, the Baron won't be so easy to deal with. He commands an enormous team of flyers and has been known to bring in a squad of blimp gunships when things look grim. The answer to our problem isn't obvious, although it is potent. Behold, Lupus Gigantormus. I'll drug the beast so that the guru will be able to ride it and take out some of the local guards, who also serve as the Baron's pilots. Obviously, the fewer enemy pilots Sly has to deal with in the finals, the better. Next, I'll hack into the aircraft control tower. If successful, I'll be able to intercept any messages the Baron might send to his gunships. All right, team, we've got all night to prepare. If we take this thing, it'll mean more than a trophy. Penelope is sure to join our gang. After her stellar work defending our hangar, I'm sure we'd all agree that she's a prime recruit. Let us go forth. As Sly? Do we go start as Sly? I don't think we have enough for any upgrades there, do we? Oh my god, there's so much fudge. Shadow power level one? Oh my god. Rocket boots? Oh my lord. I guess I'm going to have to do some pickpocketing, eh? Health extractor? Oh yeah, all this stuff is cool. Sorry, sorry. sorry. I'm going to stop now. I guess I'll buy the alarm clock. It'll come in handy later. All right, let us go. Oh, we have to play as Bentley. What am I doing? All right. You know what I'm really surprised by? We don't. We haven't seen Carmelita yet, so kind of worries me. It's time we dealt with Bugshot. We can't risk him taking down the Baron before you in the finals. Not to mention he deserves a little payback for what he did to our aircraft hangar. True, true. Since Bugshot's assault, the Baron has been keeping an eye on him. We can't fight him out in the open for risk of getting disqualified. Thankfully, Inspector Fox is out in the field looking for us. I hear you. We'll set them against each other. Mugshot is an international criminal, after all. Carmelita won't be able to resist. My only concern is for Inspector Fox's safety. Oh, don't worry about her. She's more than a match for a meathead like Mugshot. Okay, I'll pick a fight with Mugshot and bait him into beating in the town square for our rumble. You do that. I'll get Carmelita's attention and lead her back here to the same place. Agreed. I've got to hand it to you, Benley. This is a really underhanded plan. Why, thank you. I'm feeling pretty good about it. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good about it. <laughs> That's funny. I was just talking about Carmelita as well. I swear that was like a big coincidence. My my, my like uh, my freaking mind was blown. I was like, I was just talking about her. All right, so we have to. Ah, yes, mugshot. This guy, big purple fist guy, small legs. I'll beat it, twerp. The Black Baron's been giving me the grill since that event in your hangar. Perhaps you'd like to take out some frustration by engaging in a physical battle with me outside in the town square. No way! I'm being watched here. That, and it wouldn't feel right pounding a four-eyed runt in a wheelchair. Got to bait him into a fight. Maybe I should insult his record versus... I'm sure you wouldn't win in the fight anyway. You've got such a long, sad history of losing to the Cooper Gang. 
I could whip your whole gang with one arm if you jerks would sit still. Look at these arms. I'm unstoppable. You know, I've been thinking about your appearance. Look, if you don't got nothing to say nice, then don't say nothing at all. Get it? What? Ain't got no sassy comments, smart guy? Oh, I get it. You got nothing nice to say, so you're keeping quiet. That's real cute. You really got nothing nice to say? <laughs> That's cold. <laughs> His mother? Oh my god. <laughs> Your mother was a broken down tub of junk with more gentleman callers than the operator. Oh Nobody my talks God. that way about my mother. <laughs> Nobody! Okay, little broken down runt. Looks like you're gonna get broken down even more. Town Square, five minutes. Please don't be late. <laughs> he just called his mama home. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, Sly. Bugshot is on his way outside. Go find Inspector Fox and lead her back to the town square. Alright. <laughs> Time to find Carmelita. She's way over there. Damn. Oh, I'm sorry. That, like, that killed me. <laughs> hey, so why is she way out here? Is because, like, there's a boat? She came by a boat or something? Ah, yes. There she is. I'm gonna take some money from her. I'm sorry, Carmelita. You just have a nice wallet. Really hate to. Hey, Inspector Fox. Still looking for a date to the prom? Quit running and I'll pin the corsage on you. Run. What the hell's happening? Oh my god! <laughs> Run! Run, she's still coming! Oh no! Oh, town square, town square. How do I get over there? Oh yes. Serpentine! 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 No! Oh my god, this is not fair! This is not fair at all! Oh my god! Oh. All right, I underestimated her, man. I underestimated her. Actually, I got caught in that bridge there. Oh, damn it. <laughs> All right, you beautiful foxy lady, come at me. Okay. Oh, God. At least I know where the bridge is this time. Oh my god. Blast it, Sly. Why run? Why not face me like a real man? Mess with me? That little punk is gonna eat dirt. <laughs> hey! You're that cop hag that busted me back in Mesa City! Mugshot, alias Two Gun Tony, also known as Meathead Mugshot. Seven foot three inches, 324 pounds, wanted in seven countries with 13 outstanding warrants for your arrest. And yes, I'm that cop hag that put you away back in Mesa. Well, wise guy, lady. Feel like going for another shot at the title? It's my duty to put you behind bars. That, and I enjoy making tough guys cry like the stupid babies they really are. I ain't no stupid baby! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, he really isn't tough at all. What the fuck? Oh 
Oh my god! <laughs> Mother, that you? I'm sorry. I didn't know they was yours. Oh my god. Ugh, looking this idiot will take all night. Oh well, I'm sure Cooper won't make his move anytime soon. Bro, she's a fucking unit. <laughs> Watch next. Oh, yes, the giant wolf thing. That's right. I totally forgot about it. I got totally distracted with uh, the whole your mother thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there's the wolfie. Oh, boy. Aha! A perfect feral specimen of Lupus Gigantormus. So, let me get this straight again. You plan on stalking that thing, drugging it. Putting the guru on board and setting the two free to smash up the guards? An airtight plan, I agree. In simplicity itself, by channeling the wild destruction housed in that bloodthirsty creature, we should be able to thin out the Black Baron's ranks. Which, of course, means fewer enemy pilots flying against you in the finals. I'm all for evening the odds in our favor, but come on. This plan seems a little risky. Not at all. I've modified my sleep darts with heavy doses of skunk bulb. It should be enough to pacify the beast, provided he doesn't catch wind of me first. All right, that sounds okay. You can hang back and shoot him at a distance. Uh, well, given the weight of the darts, I'll need to sneak up behind him and take a shot within a few meters. Meters? Quit trying to freak me out, and put the guru on the binocucom! After I put the wolf to sleep, it'll be up to you. Fawara, hoja. Thanks, guru. You always know just what to say. Oh, God. dart was out of range you'll have to get closer for a good shot are you serious too far away you'll need to get close to make the shot count. Uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh bad things are happening bad things are happening he's caught your scent get out of there No good. You need to be close in. You were too far away to make the shot. Come on, come on. Your position is blown. Fall back. I have to be right on his ass, don't I? You got it. Wow. Bullseye. Run. No impact. Uh -oh. Get within a few meters behind the wolf, then fire. Otherwise, the darts just bounce off. Far away, you'll need to get close to make the shot count. Oh, come on. You let the wolf die, he died. <laughs> All right, well, at least I know what to do now. Good shot. That's one run, run away. That's nice one, two. Deadly. Oh my god, he still hit me. Okay, I'll go for a third time. Nice. Three. Run. 
Run, 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 run. All right, now for the last shot. Nice work, yes! big game hunter. The skunk bomb is kicking in. He's almost asleep. Guru, you're up. You should be able to possess the giant wolf now that he's out. All right, now I just gotta jump on his back, right? Mow down these thugs. That's one. That's two. Dude, this is so cool. Where are all of them? Oh, dude, he keeps running into walls, and I don't want him to. That's... Oh, God. This is fucking cool as shit. Oh, shit. This wolf is a unit, bro. I missed. Not for long. They just run on sight. They're like, oh shit. <laughs> it's a fucking giant wolf. <laughs> Come here. Keep it up. That's ten fewer pilots in the finals tomorrow. Oh, dude, I try to turn to the left. Why the hell didn't it turn right away? Okay. Sorry, buddy. How many left? Four more? No! Fuck! Crap, I have to do this all over again. All right. This ain't so bad doing it again anyway. Run from me, bitch. Keep it up. That's ten fewer pilots in the finals tomorrow. Just three more to go. Two more, and we're set. Two more to go. Oh, dude, come on. One more pilot, and it's a done deal. Where's this last one? Here he is. Hey! Excellent. That should even the odds tomorrow in the finals. <laughs> Job complete.